everyone, here we are again. As we recall, measurement is a process of finding a number that shows the amount of something, and also the process of comparing an unknown quantity with a standard quantity. We also have tackled the different types of measurements, the nominal, interval, ordinal, and the ratio. Measuring tools were also discussed in the first part of our video. And to cite some, we have ruler, compass, micrometer, as well as the measuring tape. So now, we will talk about the measuring length as a continuation of our topic in the first video. But before that, let us first define what length is. Length is the term used for identifying the size of an object or distance from one point to length is a measure of how long an object is or the distance between two points. It is used for identifying the size of an object or distance from one point to another. The most common units that we use to measure length in the metric system are the millimeter, centimeter, meter, and the kilometer. The millimeter is the smallest commonly used unit in the metric system. For example, the length of the ruler in the picture is 15 cm. Here, the arrow above the ruler denotes the length of the ruler as it is the longest side of the ruler. Another example would be the length of the desk or table from one end to the other end measures 150 centimeters or 150 cm. Let us now proceed to the different units of the length. Different units of length. The standard unit of length based on the metric system is a meter. According to the length that needs to be measured, we can convert a meter into various units like millimeters, centimeter and kilometer. Centimeters and millimeters help measure smaller lengths and meters and kilometers help measure larger lengths like distance. For example, the length of the pencils can be calculated in centimeters, while kilometers can measure the distance between two buildings or places. 100 equal divisions of a meter give a centimeter. If it is written as centimeter, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. Another, 1,000 equal division of kilometer give a meter. That is, 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meter. Now, let us start with tools you would use to measure length or the distance between the two points. A meter stick or yardstick is either a straight edge or foldable ruler used to measure length and is especially common in the construction industry. They are often made of wood or plastic and often have metal or plastic joints so that they can be folded together. A measuring rod is a tool used to physically measure lengths and survey areas of various sizes. Most measuring rods are round or square sectioned. However, they can also be flat boards. Gauge blocks are a system for producing precision lengths. The individual gauge block is a metal or ceramic block that has been positioned ground and lapped to a specific thickness. In use, the blocks are stacked to make up a desired length. An opisometer, also called a curving meter, is an instrument for measuring the lengths of arbitrary curved lines. It consists of a tooth wheel of known circumference on a handle. The wheel is placed in contact with the curved line to be measured and run along its length. These are just some examples of measuring tools that we used in our everyday lives. Whether you work in one of the physical professions or simply love getting involved with DIY projects at home, measuring tools will allow you the precision and accuracy necessary to achieve great results on anything you set your mind to. So, the next time you're aiming to improve, on a physical skill, find a way to measure it. That way, over time you will be able to tell how much progress you're making. And that's all for today's video. 
We hope that you enjoyed and learned something. Thank you and God bless. Bye-bye!